Hello and welcome. Uh, thank you for tuning in today as we continue to read through the book of Psalms and to work through the verses together and pray through the verses. And I uh, just want to uh, say that I'm excited to see uh, the response uh, on, on uh, Facebook and, and see how this has been an encouragement uh, to you. Uh, today we're going to be in Psalm chapter 8, and this is a, a very wonderful psalm uh, written by David. And uh, the focal point of the psalm uh, is the name of the Lord uh, that is majestic and high. And it is very clear that as we uh, look at this psalm, uh, David is uh, capturing uh, the Lord in all of his glory in wanting to honor the Lord, wanting to worship the Lord. And, and oftentimes in, in prayer, uh, in prayer we can uh, grasp hold of the promises of God or uh, sometimes we seek and ask in, in uh, supplication of the Lord to help us or strengthen us in our time of trouble. Um, but sometimes in prayer we, we find ourselves marveling over uh, the Lord and just standing in awe of him and wanting to glorify and worship him and bring praises to his great name. And this is ultimately what we see in this psalm. Uh, we see that the majesty of the great name of God is seen in creation, in all that he has made, in the wonders of the universe and everything that the Lord has created. But also we see uh, the wonder of his majestic name in the creation of man, that man of all of God's creation was made in the image of God. And yet in this psalm, David makes reference to the thought that God, as we look at all that he has made, uh, if we look at man, we say, how are you mindful of us at all? Um, but yet he is mindful of us and, and he's given us uh, such a wonderful gift in knowing him and making us in his image that we can relate to him in person and uh, ultimately through the Savior Jesus Christ. In chapter 2 of Hebrews, this psalm is quoted and the Son of Man here uh, is in reference to Jesus Christ who came uh, into this world as the God-man and he would suffer and die for us on the cross and ultimately uh, this is how uh, we enter into relationship with God and are reconciled back to him. And so this is a beautiful psalm. I'm going to read it now. And so if you have your Bibles, you can turn to Psalm chapter 8. And we'll read the psalm together and then we'll pray through it. For the choir director on the Gittith, a psalm of David. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth who have displayed your splendor above the heavens. From the mouth of infants and nursing babes, you have established strength because of your adversaries to make the enemy and the revengeful cease. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you take thought of him and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than God, and you crown him with glory and majesty. You make him to rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And those are the bookends of this beautiful psalm. Verse 1 and verse 8 are the same, identical. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Let's uh, prepare our hearts now as we pray to the one who is majestic, the one who made all things, and the one who sent his Son to save our souls. Let's pray. Lord God, indeed, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Lord, you have indeed displayed your splendor above the heavens. Lord, we look at all that your hands have made and we see, Lord, that you are magnificent, that you are a great God, you are majestic, 
in holiness. You are awesome in praises. You work wonders, Lord. Who can uh, can say, Lord, uh, that there is another God that can contend with you? Lord, you are high and exalted, and we want to glorify and honor you, Lord. Help us to, to give thanks to you. As we read the psalm, Lord, we I can't help but think of your majesty and your strength and your splendor, Lord, that you are the all-knowing God that never changes. And Lord, we stand in awe of you. Lord, we see your splendor and your majesty as we look into the heavens and see the stars and the moons and the planets and the solar systems and all of the, the wonder of the universe. And yet, Lord, as David says, from the mouth of infants and nursing babes, you have established strength. Lord, even the splendor of your great name is seen in the feeble, weak infancy of man. Lord, we, we see your order uh, of all creation, and, and Lord, we are amazed at you. Uh, we stand in awe of you. Lord, your fingerprints are all over. Uh, help us to be mindful of you. Help us to wait patiently for you. Lord, help us, Lord, to be still and know that you are God and take delight, uh, Lord, in bringing glory and honor to your great name. Father, in this psalm, uh, David wrote that you have adversaries, uh, and the, an enemy, and a revengeful uh, man, Lord, that there are those who oppose you, Lord. And not only uh, have the angels fallen, um, in uh, Satan and, and the angels that fell and uh, are in rebellion against you. But man, uh, the one that you created in your own image has list, lifted up his hand against you to rebel against you, Lord. Uh, what a foolish thing, Lord. Uh, and yet, Father, uh, we see, Lord, uh, your, your might and your power. We see your wonderful love uh, and your grace, Lord, that through the fall of man, Lord, your grace has been placed on display uh, in the giving of your Son. Uh, David goes on to say, Lord, that when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you take thought of him and the Son of man that you care for him? Uh, Lord, it is a wonder that you are mindful of man at all. Uh, you are so majestic. And yet, Lord, we know that you are mindful of man. Uh, Lord, that you are intimately, uh, Lord, acquainted with man. That you made us in your image. And we display the character of God uh, apart from all of your creation, Lord. Uh, you made us in a special way. And Lord, as we think about this passage, we also think about the one, uh, Lord, whom you have sent. Lord, uh, the one from heaven the Lord Jesus Christ, who became man and bore our sin, who became man uh, in the perfect representation of your splendor, Lord. He is the image of God, uh, the perfect image for us. And we see uh, the perfect character of God displayed in the person of Jesus Christ. And, and we exalt him, Lord, that indeed he is the Lord of all. And we thank you that you sent him to die for us in our place. We know that, Lord, uh, we don't deserve his death. Lord, uh, we just thank you. Uh, we, th we see as well in the psalm, Lord, that uh, you have made him to rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. Indeed, the Lord Jesus, Lord, uh, stands as ruler of all. Uh, there is none like him. Lord, he is the one that is in all authority. Uh, there is no authority higher than him. And Lord, everything is under his subjection, Lord. And we just thank you for that, Lord. Father, we, we thank you as well, Lord, that uh, as we read this psalm, uh, that you make it very clear that your name is majestic in all the earth. Lord, you are our God. You are our King. And Lord, I just pray for the people of sovereign grace and, and all, Lord, who uh, would be listening in. Lord, I pray that you would give us hearts that rejoice in you. Uh, Lord, give us a mind that seeks to exalt you and glorify you and honor you. 
And Lord, that our pursuit in that would be to live like Christ, uh, to trust in the work of his cross, uh, to emulate him and to follow after him. Uh, Lord, that uh, those who uh, would proclaim your name would walk as you walk, Lord. Uh, that we, Father, would strive to be more like Christ and to glorify your great name in walking in his ways. Lord, we thank you and we praise you in your name. Amen. Thank you so much for uh, spending this time with me in the Psalms. I hope that this continues to be an encouragement to you and that you would spend time in God's Word daily. As I talked about yesterday, that you would be intentional uh, with a Bible reading plan and, and get some accountability, come alongside of some brothers and sisters in Christ who also are dedicated to reading the Word of God and encourage one another and share uh, the things that you learn. As uh, Colossians 3.16 says, Let the Word of Christ richly dwell within you, teaching and admonishing one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual psalms. Uh, giving thanks to God uh, from your heart. And so may this be a, a wonderful encouragement to you as it is to me. God bless you.